Welcome to Duality Gamecast, sponsored by Gladiator Games. Today's Quick Hits episode features a review of Council of Verona. Welcome to the Duality Gamecast. Today is a special Quick Hits episode where we take a look at Verona from Crash Games. William, how does it play? Well, it's a game for two to five players that takes between about 15 minutes and an hour to play. Um, it's recommended for ages 13 and up. I really think that even younger kids can play this. In, the, in this game, you're going to be drafting a series of characters from the Romeo and Juliet storyline, and then you're going to be playing them either to exile or to the council. All characters, when they come into play, have abilities that move people around or um, let you place additional tokens or take tokens off of people. And one of the big components of the game is these victory point tokens. Everybody starts with a certain number of them, and on your turn you'll have to place one face down on a character. When the game is completely finished, that is when everyone has played all the cards in their hand, you reveal all the tokens on characters, and certain characters say they score if, like, for, for instance, if more Montagues are in the council than Capulets, then the Montague head guy scores and reverse the Capulets, and the people who got the scoring the most win that round. Matt, what would you say are the components and the art? Uh, the art is kind of Disney-like. Um, there's a definite uh, cartoony feel. Um, I like the little wooden victory point counters or influence counters. Um, the cards are a linen texture, fairly decent weight card. Um, it's a pretty nice package for a simple little card game. Yeah. Is it fun? Yes and no, sometimes. It's, it's very quick and it's, it's very fluffy kind of when you play. There's a little bit of bluffing to it, which is fun. However, because a lot of plays decide in the last round, basically whoever goes last in this has almost all the power in the game, because a lot, how you score is based on who's on which area of the board, and there's characters that move them back and forth. So whoever goes last can just play the character that moves a certain character to the other side and changes the ratios and completely sweep the game. So it's fun, but it's very easy to game. Matt, what would you say your rating is for it? Um, I gotta go with like it. Um, it's very simple. Um, I, I appreciate the, the simplicity and the way you can quickly get it to the table, but kind of like you said, I don't like the timing in the game. I don't like uh, that that uh, tempo seems to get established on who's going to play the cards in what order, and that pretty much dictates most of the results of the game. It has kind of a tic-tac-toe fatalism to it in that word, and that's the big drawback for me. So I, I'll play it, but it's not a love it for me at all. For, for me, it's also a like it. Um, I got this game because of the mechanics in it. I was really interested in like a two to five player game that uses just a few cards. And from that standpoint, it's, it was really interesting to me and I really enjoy it. But for actual just playing, it's, it falls a little short. So it's just a like it. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching this Quick Hits. Click right here to subscribe. Thanks to these people for making this video possible.